In this video, I want to give you my 10 tips to become fluent in any language in six months. Why is it important to become fluent in another language? Well, number one, it exercises your brain. It's healthy for your brain. Number two, it literally opens up a whole new world to you, different cultures, different people. You're able to travel the world easier. Learning another language and become fluent in another language is so cool. It exercises your brain. These are my 10 tips on how to do that. Number one, learn a core group of words. In other words, you don't need to learn the words for niece and nephew when you're going to use words like mom and dad so much more in that language. A guy named Gabriel with FluentForever.com has created a list of 625 key words to learn in any language. If you learn these 625 key words, you're really going to accelerate the speed at which you become fluent in this language. I have taken that link and I those 625 words and I put it in the link below. So go ahead and click the link below and get those 625 keywords. That's the first step to becoming fluent in any language. Uh, the second tip to becoming fluent in any language is to listen to that language. When you listen to that language, you're going to learn the sounds and the, the pronunciations and that is so key to becoming a natural fluent speaker in any language. Number three, mix it up. Start mixing up the words you know. For example, if you know 10 nouns, if you know 10 verbs, and you know 10 adjectives, 10 and 10 and 10, you mix those up in different orders, you can say 1,000 different things. Uh, tip number four is immerse yourself in that language as best you can. Fly into that country and moving into that country for six months is the best scenario, but a lot of people can't do that. There are other ways for immersion. Maybe you get the Rosetta Stone uh, course and you immerse yourself that way. Or maybe you get yourself a tutor and you Skype over video. That's another great way. Uh, tip number five, change the settings on your phone to that language. So when your phone talks to you, it's in that language. Change the settings on your browser, on your computer to that language. It's gonna force you to get better at that language. Tip number six, read children's books in that language. Children's books are the most simple, basic reading in that language. They're designed for little kids who are just learning the language and you're just learning the language. So don't be too proud to read children's books. Watch movies in that language. They have, they have English subtitles or subtitles in your language. That's going to really accelerate the speed at what you learn. Tip number seven, use memory training. Now I will say this, you don't want to memorize a language, you want to learn the language naturally. But when you're learning key groups of words, or especially these 625 words, visualizing the words using memory training is not a bad idea. Uh, for example, let's take the word descansar. Descansar in Spanish means to rest. If you take the word descansar, to rest, and you see yourself sitting at a desk, Maybe it has cans all over it. You've taken the word descansar, turned it into a picture, desk with cans on it, to rest, turn it into a picture, and see yourself sitting at that desk. So when you think of descansar, you think of yourself resting at that desk, and, you, and this is memory training, visualizing. On those 625 words, what you might want to do for that is, is go through that spreadsheet and get Google images for all 625 of those words and then put the Google image and then the word in that language. For example, if the word is, is mesa, which means table in Spanish, go to Google images, get a picture of a table, and put it on your document. And then right next to it, write mesa. So you're seeing the image and then the word. That is how a child would learn a new language. The mom would point to the table and say mesa. So, use memory training. Number eight, tip number eight is to uh, work on the pronunciations. Make sure you are pronouncing the words correctly in that language. Pronunciation is so important to getting it right. So you don't want to be learning these words or learning, the, learn, or learning these languages and saying them incorrectly. Tip number nine is make new friends in this language. Maybe even get a tutor, but get yourself uh, somebody that you can definitely talk to. Make new friends in that language. And tip number 10, the last one, do not be afraid to make mistakes.